For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the normal force, shear force and moment at point C. So as you can see, A has a vertical and possibly a horizontal reaction because it has a pin and B only has a vertical reaction, BY. So we're going to use the method of sections at the right side of B. But notice something important. There's a distributed load that is acting above C to both the left and to the right. And we're going to see how to deal with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this whole segment here. Let's say this is C, this is B, BY. We have a 12 kilo newton force right here and we have A which is anchored right here. And we have this distributed load that goes here. Yeah, you're going to see why this is important. 9K. So we have the distributed load right here, but actually we're going to replace it with a single force acting right at the center. The center of this distributed load is right on top of C, as you can see, because it's 3 and C sits in the middle, which is 1.5. And since it's a rectangular distributed load, it's the same as writing one single force acting right at the center of it. Let's call this force S so F of Y. And it is equal to the 9 kilonewtons per meter times 3 meters, which goes from here to here is 3 meters. So 9 times 3 is 27 kilonewtons. And now we can find BY. The first thing we got to do is find BY. To find BY, you know that this is A. So you know that the sum of the moments at A, assuming clockwise is positive, is, this is, a, is equal to zero. So the moment created by the 12 kilonewton force is 12 times 1.5 because it's the distance from A, plus F of Y, which, which is found, times 4.5 because it's the distance from F of Y to A minus b of y times 6 and all of that is equal to 0. So when you solve for b of y because we already have f of y we found it right here sorry about that then we get that b of y is equal to 23.25 kilo newtons. Now that you have b of y we can use the method of sections to cut from C to the right. So the new section is going to be this short little section right here. Let's call this point C. That's what it is. This is B and the reaction BY. However, there's a distributed load. And this distributed load of 9 kilonewtons per meter but this distance right here is just 1.5 meters. So we have a new force. Let's call it, let me redraw this section. I'm just redrawing the section right here. And we got to replace this distributed load with a force acting right in the middle. And this is BY. This is the force, let's call it BY prime. Because it's not the same as this BY. These are not the same. This is an important point f of y is not the same as f of y prime. That being said, f of y is equal to 9 kilonewtons per meter times this length right here, which is 1.5, which means that f of y prime is equal to 13.5 kilonewtons. Now b of y, we already found to be 23.25 kilonewtons. So we have a share, a normal, and a moment at C. And we're going to find them. So the first thing we're going to find is the share. We know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. 
assuming this orientation for the x and y sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero which means that minus f of y prime plus the share plus b of y is equal to zero when you solve for the share since you already have by and f of y prime we already found them you get that the share is equal to negative 9.75 kilonewtons the fact that it's negative it means that it's not going up it's in fact going down so you just correct that like that b c and it is equal to 9.75 kilonewtons going down I'm gonna put a little note right here corrected because I erased it from my little diagram right here that way this equation still makes sense now we're gonna find right out of space here <coughs> and move a little down all right now we're gonna find the normal the normal is easy to find sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero the only force on the x is the normal so the normal is equal to zero and the last but not least is the moment assuming clockwise is positive sum of the moments at c is equal to zero which means that the moment <coughs> sorry the moment plus the moment created by the fy prime which is 13.5 times the distance from c to here is half of 1.5 which is 0.75 meters minus b of y times the whole distance of the segment which is 1.5 1.5 meters and all of that is equal to zero we got b of y which is plug it in and we solve for the moment and you get that the moment is equal to 24.75 kilonewton meters and it's positive we assume that positive was going clockwise so it's going clockwise so final answer for the share final answer for the normal force and final answer for the moment again notice that when you have a distributed load a lot of people a very common mistake that you don't want to do in your exam is to replace it by a force and then cut this in half if you cut this in half you get something like this and then you forget that there it's a distributed load so in reality you have half a force going here so remember this is a very common mistake don't do it whenever you have a distributed load keep redrawing your diagram and get your new fy for the segment please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you